this is our final bite size view for this week and we are at the Farmer's Arms in Coombe Flory. Coombe Flory in Somerset. We were having a glass of red wine. This is a South African Grenache, a primordial soup. This is, I mean, the, the colour of it, I mean, it looks like Ribena, to be honest with you. It's like, you know when they do um, fake wine in movies? <laughs> it's like that colour. The, there's a lot of floral, there's a lot of light berries in there. God, that's a glass of poetry. You can literally smell the tourists walking down from, uh, from Table Mountain. You can smell the impala as they, as they drift across the plains. <laughs> Lay a little down on the carpet and see how it goes. <laughs> <laughs> it melts in my mouth like butter. With the butter, the garlic. It's cooked absolutely perfectly. It's like the Notting Hill Carnival. Let's call it the Coombe Flory, um, Coombe Flory Scallop Carnival. That lovely kind of delicate um, scallop flavour, just letting the, the scallop do the, do the dancing. You just get that real earthy hit of wild mushrooms, and it really just tastes like you're literally walking around the woods with your tongue hanging out, licking the trees. It, it, it is literally like getting Robin Hood by the back of the neck and kissing him. <laughs> Being a chef myself, they really have it now, this. I mean, the, 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 the lightness of the cream, the mushroom actually being cooked perfectly. It's not, it's not slimy, it's not like eating a bunch of slugs. It's absolutely delicious. It really is one of the best dishes in the area that I recommend for you to come to. That is a proper bloody burger. I can just see a John Deere coming in now. Can I have a Farmer's Arms burger, please? You better have a Big Mac and fries. This is a big tractor and fries. The gherkin, the meat is really coarsely chopped. The bread is soft. I'm not being polite here. This is good. I would, I would drive down the A33, listen to the Wurzels and have this on my honeymoon. That bloody burger was insanely, generally very, very good. Lamb's cooked perfectly. It's absolutely delicious. It's, it's pink in the middle, soft, juicy, strong lamb taste. Lovely peas and uh, baby broad beans. Have it with a bit of feta cheese. The salt from the feta cuts through the lamb beautifully. This lamb is so good, it's like sitting in a spa bath with little Bo Peep. We've got peas and mint, which goes together like um, Donald Trump and a bottle of piz boon. You can see straight away that it's good because it's cooked very, very well. It's actually had some care put into this. You can tell, because if that was if that was really badly cooked, that would be grey. That is pure white. And look what we have here, the humble samphire, which is something that people overlook and they think, oh, you know, it's just a weed. It's a little bit like the asparagus of the sea. It's punchy and it's salty, and it's just got that sort of fat taste that asparagus has. It's like having a bath with Neptune. The potatoes are really good. And also, this is properly spicy. Middle of Somerset, a little of the countryside. You would be super impressed with this on a beach in Spain. This is putting Somerset on the map. We got we got pub grub at a high standard, cooked well by a great team. They know their wine, they know their beer. So well done, well done, Ben. Farmer's Arms, absolutely worth a visit. Uh, WAV, hashtag WAV, worth a visit. That has got Gaming Jamie top five stars. Mm -hmm.